My name is Kristen Patton, and I'm founder and lead facilitator of Ensemble Consulting. I started my practice working with small and mid-sized arts organizations, bringing a philosophy and approach that's rooted in the, the artistic process, recognizing that the essential elements of mission, purpose, aesthetic values are all in the DNA of how they create and share their work and that there's tremendous power to be tapped if that's understood outside the rehearsal hall. What I've learned since is that if you substitute for purpose or artistic process, those same essential elements are at the heart of any nonprofit organization and the approach developed initially through working with arts organizations is just as powerful with any other type of nonprofit. What I love most about my practice is all in the name ensemble. The power and beauty of what we can create when we work together. I come from a theater background and as a child actor, I had the amazing experience of directly experiencing that alchemy that happens when all of the creative parts come together in a work that is greater than the sum of all the individual parts. And as a teenager, I was in a play and recognized the difference that a brilliant stage manager made in creating the brave space for that artistic make, art making to happen. I gravitated toward that as my first career uh, to help create and hold that brave space. Essentially, that's still what I do. I just redefined and broadened my definition of the stage. But all of my work really centers on creating, holding that space for the collective work to happen. My work centers on organization development, strategic planning, board development. Uh, but at the center is thinking about the relationships and everyone's positioning and relationship to core purpose at the center of the organization and aligning from that core purpose. So a really meaningful project for me was with About Pace Theater Company. And several years ago, they reached out. Uh, they were facing an unplanned leadership transition and I got the call, hey, you've been recommended to us, could you help us do a search? And I responded by saying yes, uh, but only if you're willing to take a step back and do the foundational work that will inform what it is you're looking for. Uh, leadership transitions can't start with the search. There's the need and a real opportunity to reconnect with what's at the core, what's at the essence of the organization. They recognized the opportunity in that and were up for it. Uh, so I did start working with them. We started the process by inviting individual insights uh, of everybody who self-identified as a key stakeholder. So all board, all staff, all artists affiliated with the company, the energy and the collective desire for continuity. You know, this was an organization with a really strong pulse and heartbeat. Out of that, the foundation was laid for not only you know, what they were looking for, but they realized they had such clarity on what type of leadership they needed and also the changes that they could start to affect right away, not wait for the Messiah new leader to come in and fix everything, but actually, oh, here are things that we need to address and can start addressing right now. Um, that they were able to self-organize and lead the search from within. They hired me to facilitate the process, but rather than bring in an outside search firm, they took ownership of that and led a really um, remarkable leadership search that was highly inclusive. Uh, they were really effective at attracting a broad, really diverse candidate pool. Um, out of it, they hired Megan Carney and have just continued to strengthen as a company ever since. 
part of my name ensemble was not just to work with organizations from an ensemble greater than the sum of our parts ethos, but also from the very founding, I had the intention of wanting to work with other, and I like to say like-spirited, but not like-minded consultants. So doing some solo practitioner work, but also making sure that a good part of my practice was collaborative with other consultants, because that bounce and, you know, bringing together of complementary skills and different insights is so important. Rena Henderson Mason and I go way back. Uh, and actually, the start of both of our consulting practices was uh, through volunteering with the Arts and Business Council of Chicago. They created a board development consultants service that provided really top tier board development consulting. Rena and I were on the founding team of that effort and got to know each other really well. Then I was uh, balancing developing a consulting practice with full-time corporate work. I brought her in in her then corporate role to consult with our organization. We have done some projects together since. ACN has had a direct impact uh, on helping me relocate from Chicago to New York. When I was on the strategic planning task force, uh, one of the consultants who I hadn't met prior and probably wouldn't have crossed paths with had it not been for that volunteering and working together was Deborah Nattenshot. Deborah connected me with people she's collaborated here that then connected me with other people and has been hugely helpful. I have really appreciated all of ACN's resources and also how they are constantly evolving to uh, meet members' needs. Uh, currently, I'm particularly excited uh, about the Empower Groups and have joined the LGBTQ plus Empower Group and already just what people are bringing in terms of genuinely wanting to engage in active support of one another and find opportunities to collaborate has been very exciting. So I was slow to volunteer for ACN. Um, I joined five and a half years ago, and the first few years, I admit I coasted, um, but was really aware of the level of commitment that volunteers were bringing. And so when in late 2019, early 2020, the call went out for strategic planning assistance, uh, I said, okay, Kristen, it's time. And I signed up to join the strategic planning task force. And later when they were looking for a co-chair, I said, yes, I will. <laughs> And that ended up being a really wonderful experience. Uh, what I'm proudest about it is, in terms of what we were able to do, is right after we formed, the pandemic shutdown hit, and we were able, as a task force, to pivot and provide the board and committee leadership with focused support on understanding what current membership needs were during that time of crisis. We fielded and analyzed a survey, were able to share those insights with the board and leadership, which made for uh, you know, recognizing where changes could be made, where service offerings could be adjusted. And then we were able to pivot back and create a strategic framework that the organization had long been feeling a need for to guide strategic planning going forward. My recommendation is, first of all, don't wait as long as I did to volunteer. But whether it's volunteering or through other means, don't be shy or reluctant to engage because there's such a wealth of resources available. And from my first joining, you know, early on, the biggest benefit that I got was I reached out and did informational interviews with 
a lot of people with experience. I would, I had been doing my practice on the side of a full-time job and was just moving it to full-time. And everybody I reached out to was incredibly generous and helpful. And it was also helpful to reach out and have coffee with the other people that were joining at the same time as I was to share perspectives. Um, but the deeper engagement of doing work on behalf of the organization and with the other people who are in the organization really uh you know has has been really meaningful and getting to know people better and that just you know lights up the network i am hungry to visit puget sound my favorite is Singing in the Rain. A book that I keep coming back to is Emergent Strategy by Adrienne Marie Brown. Chocolate. It's one of my favorite composers is Philip Glass. I would love to sit down with Michelle Obama. <laughs> my mom. She was an actor and, you know, balanced that commitment to family with finding the way to continue to do her art really well. She, you know, treats everything like her next adventure. <laughs>